Today is a Q&A kind of day, and I'll be answering some questions. Today I've gotten myself downtown, all some downtown, all some downtown proper, which is really cool because uh, kind of becoming a country bumpkin by now and never leave my neighborhood and stuff. So this is like really exciting, eh? Like super duper exciting. But I'm down here, I'm meeting uh, Lyles, uh, a man whom I'm, I have never met, uh, but he, he runs um, camps for students in Korea. Uh, he takes them down to South Africa. So we're here to talk business. Like I said, I've never met the guy before. Uh, he's never met me, but I guess we're gonna sit down and have a powwow and see if we can work up some kind of arrangement. It's a pretty nice day today, the air is clean. I haven't checked it here in, in the city, downtown, because it tends to be a lot more, you know, dusty with all the cars and all that crap. But uh, man, I haven't been here in a long time. This place has changed. The bay, mini bar. I figured they were selling clothes in here. Meeting at Starbucks uh, right across from the Lotte Hotel and next to the Lotte department store. Easy to find. I didn't assume there was only one Starbucks around, but uh, I'm not a Starbucks frequenter visitor, so I needed some guidance in finding this place. It's easy enough. I mean, the main buildings haven't changed so much. There's a lot of uh, new businesses that sprung up, either replacing old ones existing ones or yeah that's really it the buildings are the same there it is hey what's happening everyone um, so my name is Val Bartis uh, also known as Obama teacher or by <laughs> my, right? as Obama teacher yeah, yeah that's right or by my career name okay um, Pakti Sanmida <laughs> yeah so I run the Cape Town Genius program um, it was a pleasure meeting my brother uh, one of my best friends I've known him for years um, <laughs> Brother from another mother. What's your name again? Jack. Oh, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my brother Jack. Uh, we've known each other for years. You know, uh, we're like this. I'm kidding. Man. We just met today. We had some good coffee over here at Starbucks, um, and we're gonna do big things in Korea. So yeah, watch the space. Yeah, I think it was a good, successful meeting. Uh, yeah. Good nice meeting, man. That was a pleasure. Um, we'll definitely do this again. Um, I'll yeah. follow your, your progress in Korea. Yeah, likewise. And I'll get to that Ethiopian coffee beans. Yeah, that'll be fantastic, man. All right, everyone, have a great day wherever you are, and keep doing amazing things. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cheers. Have a good one. You too. Peace. So that was a very good, productive meeting. Actually, I think I'm gonna head down that way. And I've got a bunch of questions that I've I'd like to answer because um, that was the initial. That was the initial go of this, so uh, I'll take you down into downtown while I answer the questions. So this is the first, man, I've never done this before. It should be most interesting, show you some of the um, areas in the city, and uh, we'll see what happens. Check out that Maserati behind me. Been a lot of those around in Korea. So I just wanted to hide here between the buildings because it's a bit windy and I figured it's gonna. It's quite the noisemaker. And I figured the wind's gonna create some unnecessary noise in the microphone. Take a stroll around downtown here, downtown proper. While I answer the questions, you get to see some of the stuff in the background here. Okay. First question was, what cities are your favorite to visit? And I assume these are cities in South Korea, clearly. So uh, the favorite visit, the my, my favorite city to visit is definitely Busan. Um, that's also the city that I visited the most over the years. Um, Hyundai itself is. A, maybe a 40 minute drive from our house 
uh, and uh, there are about three. There are three different beaches. There's Hyundai, uh, Songjong, and Gwangalli Beach. That are literally within a fast-paced walking distance. So um, it's very vibrant. I really enjoy visiting Hyundai because it's got its own kind of vibe going on, which I really like. Over the years, Hyundai's become kind of a, a place where you can go to and and uh, find a lot of strange new oddities in terms of people and music performers and stuff like that so i would say hyundai uh busan is definitely the place to go to in korea that i'd like to visit of course it's not the only one uh there's a lot a lot of other places and it all depends on what you want to see hyundai's got the uh, busan has the beaches um, if you want to hit the mountainous regions then obviously you'd go to sokju up north um, and there's a lot more nature, clean air. Question number two. What is your preference for couple trips without kids? So I guess, where would you go as a couple um, without your children? And honestly, I can't really answer that question. Or maybe I can. The answer would be the same as the one before. Um, Right now my life is with kids, so it's hard to imagine myself without kids. I don't really travel anywhere long distance without my children. Because I'm a father of two, and that's what you do when you're a father. You don't really have time to spend just, you know, alone with your wife, with your spouse, by yourself. And you don't want to, really. I personally don't. If I go somewhere, I want to go with my kids. But I guess maybe there are some romantic spaces in Korea that I don't know about. Oh, that's interesting. What is that? This is quite weird sitting down like that. I figured maybe I could sit down, but maybe not. So yeah, that's like a... What is that in the back? It's like a... I don't know. Set of lights, but not really. Ah, it's a pollution indicator. It shows the, the level of pollution at the moment. Pretty cool. Looks like the air is clean. Very nice. So, uh, I don't know. Most romantic or favorite place to visit without kids? Any place that doesn't have any more kids, I guess. That would be my answer. If you're traveling, <laughs> trying to get away from your kids, then you want to be as far as, as far away as possible from, from kids that aren't your own. What's your experience using public transportation with kids in South Korea? Public transportation here is quite good. You got buses, taxis, certain cities have subways, not all. And I guess if you're if you're really into that thing, you can take an airplane from here to there. Uh, to fly from Ulsan to Busan takes about 30 minutes, I believe. I'm not sure if the trouble is worth it, because to drive from Ulsan to Busan takes about the same amount of time. You might end up spending a lot more time at the airport going through all the checks and all that stuff. So uh, I know that there are some people who f do fly uh, from Ulsan to the capital, to Seoul, for example. I've taught some, some uh, executive uh, officers, ex executives um, who do fly on the weekends, they fly home because it's a lot quicker. Uh, to drive to Seoul takes about five hours, to fly from here to Seoul takes about 50 minutes. Oh, the Maserati is back. It's a very nice car. Uh, transportation here is quite reliable, buses are cheap. Taxis, not so much anymore, I think. Now that they're getting competition from like cacao carpools and uh, Uber is trying to push its way into South Korea, which is taxi companies and uh, government are really trying to stifle that down. But yeah, that's what's happening. And holy moly, look at these cars. That's a freaking rocket. A little bit for the supercar lovers. And there's a subway right there. I haven't had subway in a long time. Maybe I should do lunch there. Yeah, let's do that. Totally. Lunch at subway. It's been a while. Good. I haven't had subway in a while. Alright, 
I thought maybe I could eat and talk, but clearly not. Not happening. There's no way I'm showing you what's inside my mouth while I'm chewing. So we're back out in the street and I'm gonna finish the questions out here. I only ate half my sub. The other half is for later. <clears throat> so to complete the first question, or the third, which one was it? Third. What's your experience in traveling on public transportation in South Korea, particularly for the long three to four hour distances? Well, taking into account that Korea is a very small country and the distances go as far as five hours tops, I would say, from between Ulsan to uh, between Ulsan and Seoul, three to four hours is a very long ride. I never spend that much time unless you get stuck in traffic because you were foolish enough to venture out onto the Korean roads during a holiday, like, I don't know, a weekend in spring when, when all the cherry blossom trees are in bloom. Not a wise decision. And during those times, I think hardly anybody travels by anything, by any other form, using any other form um, than their own cars. Nobody flies in those situations. Well, I shouldn't say nobody. I don't. I'm sure there are plenty of people who do. Uh, it takes me an hour to get to Busan. Uh, to get downtown, I use my car. Anything further, uh, I use my, my own transportation. Public systems. I would say the KTX is the best bet if you go in long distances, if you want to go from here to Seoul or to Daegu or any other larger city. Um, KTX is very convenient, it's very quick, but then you're left with having to fend for yourself once you arrive at the destination. So three to four hour trips, they don't exist in my, my lifestyle. <clears throat> but if there were, um, depending on where I'd be going, I'd probably be taking the KTX. Buses are kind of a pain in the buttocks. Uh, although no, the highway buses are good. You get your own comfy seat and you get out on the highway and the inner city buses are quite good. And that takes us to the last question of do you ever use buses or trains or even planes? There's a bus station right here behind us. And uh, I don't, but obviously lots of people do. I was just approached by a peddler uh, trying to get some money off me. He was standing on the corner of the intersection and saw me, a white face, and decided to be bold and just come right up in my face and ask for money. Well, not ask, he just saluted me like I'm a military personnel, because I, I guess he assumed that I was an American Navy SEAL, because those are the only types of people that are here in South Korea, right? Let's jaywalk. I have no idea what the charges are for that. Maybe I could get a ticket. A nice fine. Anyway. I believe I answered most of the questions, or all of the questions, that were posted by one of our subscribers. Thank you for those. And that's gonna conclude this little episode. Subway was good. It's 11.50, which means I've got about... Oh, I still have lots of time. I've got some time to get back to, to the hog one, to Shane and uh, prepare for my classes and I also have another half of my subway in my pocket so that was a short little glimpse of Ulsan first time I ventured out uh, it's a challenge didn't have a problem with walking around and talking into the camera sitting in a place with like subway with surprisingly enough was full of women uh, young women and older women but mostly women I was the only man there uh, there was another fella that came in but uh, where are all the men? I guess nobody eats Subway. David and I had a very successful podcast yesterday. That was the 14th Hagwon Startup podcast yesterday. I've received some feedback both from uh, Lyle who watched it um, <clears throat> and a couple of other viewers who said it was very helpful. So I'm glad to hear that, uh, that we're actually providing content that's meaningful to people. <laughs> Sorry. And so this will conclude this episode of Q&A. It'd be good if I could make this a regular. Hopefully this answers your question. Someone I once used to know. Um, I have to pay for parking. I think it's a buck. Yeah. It's a buck every 30 minutes. Yeah, say
Yo, I'm coming in. Three bucks. I'm short. I gotta check in the car. Uh, Liam and I took all the money out last time. Shit. I think I gotta break the bank. I owe Liam ten bucks. Well, not ten bucks. I guess ten bucks. I'll just take whatever I had now and I'll, I'll replace the broken ten with a full ten. And off we go. That's it. That's the conclusion. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, stay Tuesday, Wednesday. This video will be posted on Wednesday. I'll see you on Friday.